All right, you guys, I made it home. Um, first of all, I want to thank you guys for watching the video. If, if, uh, if you're going to hang around and watch the video, uh, I'm going to be honest with you. I had a great time. So it was great to see croppers coming out again. I haven't caught croppers since uh, May. I think the end of May was last time, last week in, last week in May. Um, so I haven't caught croppers in a while. I've been on a blue deal. In summertime, you guys know it's super hard to catch croppers. If you got the electronic, you might can get on. Um, but I did go out to a, a feeder lake that feeds off of Lake Louisville and fish some bridge pillars. Um, it wasn't bad. I got there about 8.30, almost 9. I went to Grapevine. I was going to do a different content for you guys. I was going to fish some um, 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 boat, uh, boat docks and some big tires, some big tractor tires that's kind of floating in the water. I was going to fish in those areas, right? To give y'all some different content. And um, get there, man, the boat rent was like $20 to, to, to just load up. And I said, nah. So uh, I came to that feeder pond. Um, had a great time. I caught a lot of crappie, but unfortunately, none of them were keepers, but it was actually great just to see crappies coming out the water again. Um, I'm going to show you guys what I fish with, and then we're going to get this video going. So, I basically fish with my five foot. Uh, so I fish, this is a Walmart reel. This is, I'm sorry, this is my favorite pan fish. It's my five foot Shakespeare reverb. And it's a reverb reel. This is a toy reel. Actually, actually this reel is a great quality to me. Um, $20 for the combo. It's real light, so. Very, very light reel, but it's five foot. It's, a, it's an ultra light. It's a panfish reel, ultra light. Um, and uh, it gets the job done. Crappies are not big fish. Um, bluegills are not big fish. They strong, so you just want to set the drag. Uh, this is the uh, this is the fisher line I have. So it's the high vis, Mr. Crappie, six pound test. It's the high vis. Um, that's what I have on here. Uh, I was using the crappie bites that you can get from Walmart. Got different colors, of course, but I was using this one. And this is the jig of the day. You got I had a 116 ounce jig. So I'm actually I'm not gonna show you that. I'm gonna take I'm gonna show one in my in my box here. All right. So I was uh, so I was fishing with. I believe they call this the Cajun Cricket. So when I got there, this is the first, this is the first color I choose, right? And I, and I got all kind of stuff in there, all kind of different color. So I said, I'm gonna go with the Cajun Cricket. You guys, that entire time I was out there, so that entire time that I was out there, I did not have to change this color. It was hitting back to back to back. Also, I only used one of these. Um, it wasn't huge crappie where they could tear it up. So just this Cajun Cricket, one sixteen ounce jig head tipped with a crappie bite. So you guys, we're gonna get this video going at one, two, three. Thanks for watching. You guys enjoy your Sunday. Stay blessed. Uh, stay safe. Hydrate. Super hot. And um, we're gonna try to get on bigger crappies next weekend. I gotta get there earlier. I think it's some big crappies in there. I just gotta get on the waters at six o'clock. So you gotta have a blessed day. Let's get the video going. Let's go and do some fishing now. Let's see what we're gonna start off with. Let's we'll start off with this Cajun Cricket. Start off with that. Tip it, of course. And let's see what happens. Probably about 12 foot of water. I start off about six foot. There we go. And we'll go from there. I'm 
get this over there. I start off on this back side and work my way around. See if anything is uh kind of hanging off. Toss right past it right here, let it, let it drop back to me. Just see if anything is suspended. If not, we'll get all the way on the bottom. Because most people I'm talking to are saying they're catching them on the bottom. In deep water. Most people that I'm talking to, that's what they're saying. I got a bite then, but that was a bluegill, I believe. But you just never know. Sometimes they'll hit real, they'll hit real subtle sometimes. There we go. It's a crappie, ain't no bluegill. First crappie of the day, you guys. Six feet deep, halfway from the bottom. First crappie of the day. It's not a keeper though. But it's a good sign because I just got out here. There we go. The black crappie. Might have picked the right color. So guys, this is the first crappie of the day, you guys. A little black crappie, probably about eight and a half, nine inches here. Um, almost a keeper, but not a keeper, I can tell. But that's a good sign. I just dropped down with that uh, the Cajun cricket and got it. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. go you guys got one another little bit of one all the same size got them right off the bottom another little black crappie go another little old black crappie so this is actually my first time catching crappies in probably about the end of May I believe so yeah, that's pretty cool I might have to play with these small ones but we'll see what happens I just got here I ran I'm running late so it's like about 9 30 Yep, by 9.30 probably. Oh, going the wrong way. We ain't got me all over the place. So I got that one on top. go you guys got one another little bit of one all the same size got them right off the bottom another little black crappie go another little old black crappie so this is actually my first time catching crappies in probably about the end of May I believe 
So, yeah, that's pretty cool. But it looks like they're hitting on the fall. So like, as I pitch out and it, com and it comes back to this pillar, it looks like that's where they're kind of grabbing it. There we go. This is a little bit bigger, huh? Same size. Felt, felt heavy at first. Felt kind of heavy at first, but nah. There we go. Something got hold of this one. Bit it right here. What? A little, uh, the black crappie. Let's get back over there. I'm enjoying myself. Maybe if I could have got here early instead of going away to Grapevine, maybe I would have caught some big ones. Maybe the big ones are eight, and these are the babies that are feeding now. Maybe, who knows? But yep, just like I said, as soon as I tossed past that pole and it came back, you guys saw it, it, it took it. So, toss right past this pole here. There we go. Get back over there, see if we can get us another. Might get one right here soon. It's open water. Yep. Oh, he hit that joke. Uh, I know it's gone off. Those are baby crappies hitting. There gotta be a big one down here. There we go. Yep. See that hit? There we go. You got, oh, yeah. They right over that brush. In a minute, I get one at a minute, though. In a minute, I get one at a minute good. The carpet bite gone. They would have had it by now. There we go. That might be a keeper right there. First one. Yes, indeed. First one a day. Nah, it's not a keeper. No, nah. getting closer though. Getting closer, you guys. So we're getting closer to keeper size. That that that's pretty close to one, but I know it's not. But that's really really close to one. And this is a white crappie, you guys, not a black crappie. So we get to go back. And that might have been a keeper. I didn't bring my uh, my measure, but I don't want to take any chances. There we go, you guys. Another crappie, another black one. So they all around these pillars out here. It just they just not, you know, size, but. 
They're all around these pillars. There we go. Toss right over there and grab me one. That quick. Soon as I went over there. All right, I'm gonna toss right back out. Let me get on the bottom. I wanna get right on the bottom and see what happens. I'm trying literally. Okay, I'm on the bottom. So Went right down, they got one. Right off the bottom. Same size though. Same size. So, I guess that's what it's gonna be today. I guess that's what it's gonna be today. All right, you guys, I just want to tell you guys, I'm enjoying catching these crappies. Even though they're small, I'm enjoying myself. It's Sunday. Um, I know it's days like this. It's, it's summer. It's hot. And um, it's hard to catch those big ones. But just to come out here, I haven't caught crappies in, um, since May. Just come out here and give it a try with a jig. Normally, they'll bite the minnows in the summer and catch crappies back to back like this. I'm having a good time. I'm not going to complain at all. If I get some keepers, it'd be great. But I am getting footage for you guys. Uh, showing you guys I'm catching crappies on these bridge pillars. And um, we're going to get back at it, you guys. We're going to get back at it. There we go. There we go. There we go. Another one. Another one dropped right down in, in his mouth. There we go, you guys. Nice little crappie. Bridge pillar fishing. Oh, that might be a keeper right there. Yep. That might be a keeper, you guys. But I don't have my measure. And uh, nah, it's not a keeper. Not a keeper at all. If it is, it's a skinny keeper. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's YouTube, and um, I tried my best. It was rough. Uh, probably caught 20. Hey, I, may, I might even caught a limit of them smaller uh, crappies, but uh, anywhere from three, four inch little bitty crappies up to like right at nine inch, right at the keeper, but nothing that's 10 inches above. I mean, they weren't keepers. The ones I was thinking were keepers, they were probably about nine inch or, or eight and a half. So, I'm about to take it on in. I'm done. And you guys have a great and blessed Sunday. We, we'll, we'll get this video going on them crappies again. Uh, I got started late, so um, I figured I missed the big crappies. I caught those little, I think they were feeding probably right after them big crappies. I got out here close to nine o'clock. If I got out here by six, I think I'd have got some crappies, some big ones off of that, uh, off of those pillars in that 12 foot of water. So we might try it again, but you guys have a blessed, Bless Sunday, stay safe. Take it on in. All right, guys, so I'm gonna give you a little uh, tutorial of, uh, of my boat. Just kind of tell you what I got going on my boat here. One of the gentlemen that followed me asked me to speak on it. So, so this, this one start off on the front. So in the front of the boat, right, you buy one of these, you want, you want to tie a rope on here. I say about six to eight foot long. You want to have this where you can put in your hand and once you push that boat out, or you're coming off, you wanna make sure you got this in your hand, maybe two loops, because if you don't have this, it just slip off, and that boat take off, 
you can't do nothing. Your boat just gonna basically float out there. So you want to make sure you have this to keep it on uh, keep it on land. Um, let's see. You have your boat paddle, so you need that in case your trolling motor go dead. You can paddle back your seat. Um, you actually got a strap. The seat came with it, so it got a strap over here that I can strap to here. Let's say if I flipped out, flipped over, or you know just turned over, but it, it won't. The thing is so steady that seat won't you know fall go to the bottom of the lake it'll be uh, strapped onto this boat a battery um trolling motor i got the trolling motor off of amazon 55 pound thrust it, it moved this thing like it's nothing um life jacket of course you need the life jacket you got to have the life jacket you guys and that's basically it other than that i mean it's pretty cool it got it got a little cup holders you can put cup uh a lot of little areas where you can store stuff um and that's it it's not it's nothing much it's real simple um it's real sturdy i'm 260 pounds this thing is eight foot and it doesn't rock i mean this thing is steadier than like a john boat or a kayak or something it's not it's not gonna flip over i've been in 12 mile per hour wind i think i've been in about 15 mile per hour wind in this thing and it did good other than the trolling motor trying to get me back to land but like it's rocking and stuff uh that's that man you don't have to worry about that it's real safety uh other than that i just say make sure you have a paddle because i have uh my, my trolling motor went dead and i had to paddle um make sure your trolling motor is fully fully charged and some people bring an extra battery that's sit it up front just in case uh and other than that just don't go out on big bodies of water don't go out like on big bodies of water like out in the middle or something you know these, these are not made for that um stay in shallow water or close to land not too far out and fish and enjoy yourself but it's cost effective um it'll last forever it'll outlast you um and to get the job done you put it in the back of your truck if you don't have a trailer you can move it around it's not simple it's not like you got a lot only thing you got is your battery your trolling motor your seat your tackle box and, and you just, uh, your bucket to hold your fish and the thing. So that's it. You're not carrying a lot of stuff around. So you got that's my boat. Uh, this is what I get on here and there. You got my bank fish, but all of this stuff probably cost me. Um, that battery was given to me, but my other battery, uh, eighty dollars. Trolling motor, one hundred and ninety. The uh, boat, uh, five hundred and forty with tax. So it all costs under a thousand dollars, way under a thousand dollars, and it'll it'll it'll, it'll be around be, be when I expire. I'm just being honest with you. If you keep it up, don't put no holes or nothing in it. Real sturdy, man, real sturdy. So let's get this fishing going. But I just wanted to share that with you guys. The follow the follower, I can't remember his name, but that's the scoop on my boat. Um, and if you want to go and get you one, I suggest going get one because it's going to get you in places that bank fishing they're gonna get you in especially during the summer when they're in deep water so 